Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout Nevada. We're still in Wind of War and we've just gotten both of these, uh, well we've gotten the other symbol with the symbolics of Nevada State. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to insert it into this other statue because we've already done the first stat. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. I tell you to put the thing into the statue and you open these doors. Yeah, that Yeah, that makes perfect sense. You hear a cluttering sound somewhere in the building. So cluttering sound. So if we go over here close to the doors, these this guy attacks us, so that's no good. We're looking for something that must have changed. But why I'm also trying to see if anyone will talk to us about this. There's nothing here. I'm pressing shift, checking things. And there's nothing. What about here? Still nothing. I was guessing it would open like a door to the underground or something. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was hidden. Why does it have to be so cryptic? Huh. Well, there is something here. And there's some rats. Rock. Oh, there, there's rats, but they're not attacking us. That's good. Maybe they don't attack these guys. Hmm. Maybe I should check all the rooms. It seems like all the rooms have something. Or at least some of the rooms have... Thanks to, uh, loot. Yeah, the rats don't attack you. That's good. There's bones here. Alright, and that should go to the garage, I think. Oh, we're here. Excellent. Excellent. How do we get in here? Door. Yep. Oh, that was unexpected. Now you understand why the local mechanic guards uh, the garage entrance so hectically. <laughs> hectically. <laughs> it's a car! And a hammer manufacturing tool. Oh, well. This vehicle won't start. There's one critical part missing, a fuel controller. Also, you see no keys around. Okay, well, we can get the... Uh, we can certainly get the keys and why would we want to go up on the roof let me save this because i don't think that guy might be too happy about us coming back through the doors but let's see oh okay so you just go up there all right let's talk to him about then uh talk to him about it uh let's also get the fuel controller Okay. Fuel controller. We don't have the money for the car, but, <clears throat> you know, might be good. <laughs> oh, I've just, I've just, <clears throat> excuse me, I've just realized something. Maybe the fuel, uh, the fusion cells, microfusion cells are only used for fueling the car. <laughs> I heard you have something awesome in the garage with engine and lights. Vroom, vroom. Is that true? Wait a minute. How do you know what's going on in my garage, huh? Answer me. Calm down, it's just some people heard a definitive noise from it, that's all. <clears> hmm, <throat> sounds logical. Well, of course, I have some tech in there and it's almost working. So, the rumors were true, and if not a secret, what is it? Can I look at it? Can I purchase it? I'm busy repairing a really cool piece of technology, but you'll have to save money for the rest of your life to be able to buy it. Oh, come on, don't make me question you about it. Alright, but money alone won't be enough anyway. Stop tormenting me. Tell me what do you have in the garage? What? A generator? A car? A bike? A helicopter? Or a car? A pickup truck. Almost as good as brand new. But as I said, it doesn't run. Oh, that would be great to see a real working car. Yes, it's the coolest thing you can find to explore the wasteland. That's right. Pickup is the best suited for our landscape. So I took it uh, for repairing. But the work stopped because of a single part. I need a fuel controller. Otherwise the car won't move. Very interesting. Hey, tell me about cars. You seem to know much about them. We can talk about it for hours. 
I've seen a lot of broken cars. Why were they abandoned? Actually, there are several reasons. Imagine how it was during the Great War. The bombs mainly fell on cities where most of the cars were. Those that stayed mostly intact, being away from explosions, simply had no place to get repaired and refueled anymore. These pre-war cars, powered by nuclear batteries, were complex in terms of technology and maintenance. They required good care and constant monitoring. In addition, they were very expensive. Not everyone could afford to buy them. Also add to the picture the horrors that came after the war. Deaths, criminals everywhere, traffic jams in the street. Loads of cars were left abandoned under the open sky, so in 70 years, they just fell apart from aging. And these are just some of the reasons. How did you manage to buy your truck? It, remi uh, it remained in the garage of one of the houses in Parump, but the former owner used this car to the fullest, so I had a lot of trouble putting back parts in the interior. The only problem left uh, is unsolved is finding a fuel controller. What's the problem with the controller? It's basically a chip that controls the distribution of power in the electric engine of the vehicle. These chips burned out fast. The car hasn't been properly maintained. Uh, mostly, it used to happen when the cars were too often pulled off with high speed right from the start, in a sharp manner. While it's necessary to accelerate smoothly from low levels. Okay. It is difficult to explain why this was happening. Anyway, in all of the cars I managed to find in the neighborhoods, there were no working chip that I could, uh, could be used for that kind of pickup truck. Uh, why is it so hard to fix the car? It's really complex technology. More complex than computers or even a radar station, believe me. Can you imagine how many electronics are in there? And the engine is literally a bomb. It took me a few years to just roughly understand the structure of this car. I travel a lot and can find the missing piece. Then look carefully. It hardly makes sense to search among the scrap metal abandoned under the open sky. I would start with the places where cars stayed locked in, like the garages and repair shops. And I should say that I placed an order with the Caravaneers in Vegas and Reno, but they all failed. Perhaps you should look even further from civilization. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, if I find this item, I will try to bring it here. About, and here it is, the fuel controller. Looks like a working one. Oh, I'm so excited that my hands are sweaty. Not so fast, what do I get for this chip? That's a good question. Look, let's do it like this. I'll buy the chip for 2000 from you, then I'll fix the car. It'll take some time, and then you can buy the whole truck, if you want to, of course. Hmm. And for how much? I was counting on a price of $35,000, and only in cash. And don't waste time on persuading me. I want to fix this car first. Great, here's the uh, controller. Here's the money. I think one day would be enough to finish the work. Come back tomorrow, well, then we can discuss a purchase, if you're still interested. Alright. Nice, okay, so we're finally getting the car, but that will pretty much blow through our entire supply of money. If we decide to go for that. So, uh, yeah. We can sell this, which will get us pretty much to where we need to be to get the car. But like I said, that is expensive as all hell. Maybe I should take the doctor's bag with me, I don't know. I need one rope, just in case. Got lots of fusion cells. Huh. Maybe we should go back to Reno and try to sell the stuff there. Or maybe I should go to Vegas again. Oh yeah, we also have those frequencies. Hmm. Should I sell them? Or I mean, should I give them to the guy or not? Let's see. Officer's records. Nothing here. No. Hmm. Let's save. So, are you doing, Wanderer? Not bad. Don't be silly, you know what I mean. I have the information you need. Wait, I'll compare it with what I managed to get before you. Right. Hmm. It seems this is exactly what I needed. Well, just as I promised, here's your money. Thank you for your assistance. <clears throat> Without you, I'd be stuck here for another week. Bye. Only 750 experience. Okay. I don't know what kind of consequences this is going to have for the place, but we'll see. Uh, also, let me equip a Zigon. Okay, let's go to Vegas. See if we can get any money there. 35,000. Poof. Ah, perfect. This is just what we need for the potion. 
Actually, how much health do these guys have? 10, so we can just do it like this. And it should be enough, unless we're really unlucky. Perfect. Oops. Clunk, clunk. Alright. I wish there was group looting. And these are very heavy. These are 10 pounds. Yeah, exactly. 10 pounds each. It's pretty crazy. Well, fortunately, we only needed one. Uh, one scorpion tail. So as soon as we get to Vegas, we'll uh, cook it. Or cook it. We'll use the cooking station. And make the potion. Hmm with the parking lot here uh there is a cooking oh yeah we could try these guys now because we have a lot higher doctor there we go you did it caravan merchant feels a lot better uh you successfully completed healing receiving 150 points oh what a relief thanks friend there we go lovely nice thanks for the help wanderer okay excellent Dangerous caverns should be avoided. Black caravan. Okay. Um, there's a cooking station. So we can get rid of that weight. Mm, homemade right away. What? Oh, because I got rid of all the beer. <laughs> of course. I got rid of all the beer that I had. Uh, let me look at your stuff. Okay, so he's got some bullets. Some microfusion cells. But at this point, we really need money. And he's only got 1,400. That's not very really good. Yeah. Well. I mean, we can do this. And the microfusion cells. Yeah. And we can sell that as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of money. I like it. Okay. He's got monies. EMP. I'm going to sell it just because we're probably not going to be using it. Uh, 711. Oops. I forgot 100. 100. There you go. Lovely. Uh, I can also have this. I don't think this sells for anything. No, it does not. Okay. Well, still not enough money. Oops. There. Can I sell this? It's only 10. I'm going to keep it for now. Okay, so I just need to find some beer. Or maybe I'll find it again in Reno. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Blim Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, finding beer for some reason is quite the task in this mod. Um We have it to serve you? Okay. Let's see what's on the menu. Beer! We need five of it. There you go. No, we're below 33,000. <laughs> Alright. So that's that. And we've exonerated him. We've already talked to him about it, right? I believe. Yes. Okay. Huh. So, let's get out of here and cook that potion. Or make that potion. Potion. Waiter, the bell, your pizza is nuclear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Can get rid of that 10 pounds weight for the scorpion tail. 
What? Oh, I guess you can only do it in uh, Vegas. I mean, in Reno. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Wait. There's the beer, yeah. And the scorpion tail. That's interesting. You can apparently only do it in, uh, in Reno. Okay. That's fine. Let's see if we can sell some other stuff. The King's Gang. Oh, no, not these guys again. 33. Yeah, right. For some reason, these guys don't care if you're in power armor. They just do loads of damage despite the fact that they only have throwing knives and crowbars and such it's ridiculous look at this oh great it's a good thing i saved right look at this thing i'm in power armor what is this bs <laughs> this is just insane it's a good thing i saved yeah right wonderful i'm not gonna save here i'm not gonna waste uh this is how how absolutely ludicrous is that <sighs> and i'm back here freaking brilliant that is the biggest <clears throat> the biggest pile of bullshit i've ever seen those kings absolutely ridiculous what a bunch of bullshit. Okay, where can I sell stuff? I don't know if I want to go to Vegas again. I mean, I can heal those people, but that's about it. <sighs> and once again, I don't have the scorpion tails now. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit those are. <laughs> oh, man. That's like, that's like playing Fallout 2, getting... Um, you know, getting uh, the best power armor, Mark II, and then just getting killed by geckos. <laughs> what a joke. Holy moly. Right. What a ridiculous thing that was. I'm going to save this time around. Alright, let's go to Vegas, heal those people. Hopefully we'll meet the uh, scorpions again. Group of immigrants. That's not a group, that's just one person. I can't even talk to him. It's a strong peasant. Alright. Yeah, station, goodbye. I'm assuming there's going to be another random encounter. Yep, there it is. Neon Gangsters. What the hell was that all about? Yeah, let's try that. Parking lot. All those guys. For 300 XP total. Boop, boop. And this one. Boop, boop, boop. Lovely. And let's sell stuff. Here at the market, which is not great because he doesn't have a lot of stuff. But at least he has some. That's so expensive. And we're not really getting money for it either. Um, what else did I sell last time? Not this thing. Hmm. I guess I'll sell it. Actually, you know what? Let's not sell... Oh, that's only 630. And this thing is way too expensive. Okay, fine. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can do mad. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, buy some beer as well. 
Pew, 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 pew. Hard Rock Cafe. Get rid of the weapon. Oh, and there's, uh, there's world exits here. Okay, that's good. We can get out of here quickly. Let me see that menu. Give me... F oh, great. He's got one beer this time around. <laughs> uh, how did I know that was going to happen? Oh, well. We'll get it somewhere else. $14 for a beer. Thanks for nothing. All right. Let's get back to win the war. Again, I didn't save. <sighs> Uh-oh, here we go. Yep, there we go. What the hell, man? Throw it, it, it's literally throwing knives. Plus that guy with the... Okay, crowbar. And crowbar. And crowbar. So we want to run this way. What a joke. This is such a joke. Look at this. Why did they think this was an acceptable encounter? You know, an acceptable encounter for... For... A level 17 and power armor, let alone someone lower without power armor. I mean, they can kill you in two turns when you have power armor. It's just insane. And there's nothing I can do about it. Unless I just stand here, take my stim packs and super stim packs and take all the damage and take a psycho and, and they'll still be killing me. <sighs> what a freaking joke this is. And it just takes forever. They've got so many freaking action points. Look at this, man. I am in power armor. How can they even knock me down with a damn crowbar? Look, just watch. Someone's gonna knock me down now and I'm not gonna get up immediately. <laughs> I'm at 12 hit points. Look, they got, they've got action points to run over to me and then attack me at least once it's just it's just i have no words for this look at this no words what an absolute joke of an encounter this is look we still need two turns to get out and no i'm not going to use stim packs <laughs> this is just insane who thought no seriously who thought this was an okay encounter? Wait, what? Have I seriously not saved again? In Vegas? How did I forget it? I knew that those that stupid encounter was... You know what? Okay, we're gonna finish it here. I'm gonna do this off camera again. And I'll see you all next time. Big thank you to my Patreons. And send hate mail to whoever designed that. <laughs> <laughs> that encounter because sorry but that is a stupid encounter i'll see you next time bye bye